In this content on Android tutorial, we're going to be showing you how you can download and display an image using the OKHTTP OK library. Welcome to Mobile Application Tutorials. My name's Nigel. Okay, so we have another image library for you to try out and use, and this is the OKHTTP OK library. This one's a bit more of a versatile library than the previous libraries that we demonstrated in this series, because you can actually make different types of requests, not just image requests. Anyway, so we'll make a start here. Okay, so if you go, to, if you apply for the free membership, you will get the documentation here of um, of this series, including how to get the code from GitHub. So there's already an initial code base set up that was implemented in the very first tutorial. That's the tutorial here, the Picasso tutorial. So you can either follow that first, and if you don't want to follow that, you can just jump down here and just pull the initial code, it's generic code, just to start the application. And then we'll be putting in the OK HTTP specific library stuff in this particular tutorial. OK, so I'm just going to switch across to my Android Studio now. Here we are here. So the first thing I need to do is to go into my build.gradle file. And we need to add the OK HTTP library here. And I'll jump back to the tutorial here because I've got this information conveniently at hand here. So I'm just going to copy and paste and put that into my Gradle file. Just down here, paste it in, save that and sync it. So we'll wait for that sync to complete first. Okay, that library is now installed. So we're going to go into the code. We're going to the main activity here. I just need to add a couple of values here. So First one's going to be what we're going to call the OK client. And we'll set this up using the Kotlin lazy delegator. So when it first gets called, it will get initialized. And it's going to be an OK HTTP client, basically. And that will initialize it when we first call it. OK, I just want to create one more value here. And this will be the OK request. Again, I'm going to use the lazy delegator for that. And this one's going to be a request builder, actually. And it's going to take an argument now. And the first one that's going to take is the URL. And we set that up before, that's the image URL. And we just need to build that request just to return the request object. OK, so we've got a, our two values set up. We're going to actually create our function just to download and display the bitmap. So I'm going to create a new function here. And we'll call this load image using OK HTTP. A little bit of space there so you can see okay so we call our client first with a, a new call and then we pass in our okay request there it's already got the parameters we set up previously in the lazy delegate and I'll just put this next call in queue so the in queue is important because we're gonna have this happening um, in a background and a synchronous callback so it's not going to be happening on the main th UI thread which is what we want anytime you do a network transaction it's got to happen off your main UI thread and the NQ will enable that to happen and it's going to take a callback object so we're going to pass in a object expression Kotlin object expression for that if I can see it and that is a callback And I'll put the uh, braces there. Now we've got a, we do need to implement a couple members there. So, oh, so on failure and on response, implement those two. 
We'll do the on failure first. I'm just going to print out the stack trace there. And here's the thing. I'm getting an error here. Let's go to that error. So basically, if we look at this question mark here, it means the value could be a null value. Not, it's not what you call Kotlin, of course, but it, Kotlin does support null values. And to allow us to safely call a, a null value, we just need to put the question mark there to make that a safe call on that null value. Okay, now we'll do the response. This is going to be the real work where we get the bitmap and set that to the image view and stop the chronometer of the timer as well. That's important too, if you've been following the previous tutorials. Okay, so I'm going to create a value here, which is an import stream. And this is what gets returned to us via the response object, the response parameter. So we'll call response. Notice the question mark there. It could be nullable. So we'll put the question mark to make a safe call to nullable. Now we need to call the body, another, another safe call, and get byte stream. Okay, so that will give us the image stream. Now we want to get a bitmap. We can get a bitmap from the image stream. I'm just going to create a value for that. So we call bitmap factory. Decode stream and just pass in the input stream will give us the bitmap. Okay, one thing to note here is the callback's actually happening on the on a background thread. It's not happening on the UI thread. So if I want to set this bitmap to the image view, it's, it's going to, I'm going to get an exception. So what we can do is we've got a run on UI thread here. We use the Kotlin implementation. So the code inside the braces here will actually run on the UI thread. So what we can now do is call our image view inside the braces we are in the UI thread and we call our layout parameters so no 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 we call our set image bitmap with just the bitmap value and we also call the chronometer and this has got to be inside the run on UI thread as well because chronometer is actually a uh, view a view object that lives inside our layout so that runs on the UI thread basically. Okay, so make sure you've got the run on UI thread. This part here, I'll highlight that. Just make, yeah, ensure you've got that or you're gonna get an exception and you might be thinking, oh, what's gone wrong? Okay, so we'll run this and see if we can just download and display our image. Application's now started. I'm gonna select the download button. And as you can see, the image is now displayed. And that concludes the OK HTTP tutorial. Basically, we had to do two things. We had to set up a client and a request object and pass in that request object to the client. We did call the NQ, so the actual call would happen on a background thread and wouldn't impair the performance um, on the UI thread. And in modern, ver modern versions of Android OS, it's going to give you an exception if you do try to make network calls on the main UI thread. So the NQ is a way of um, carefully managing that. And when the response came back, we basically got the input stream from that, and then we could load a bitmap from that input stream. And the care had to be taken because the response did come back on a background thread. So uh, we couldn't actually call our layout views because they can only be called on UI thread so we did call the run on UI thread call to enable that code to execute on the UI thread. Anyway so all these episodes are currently already available to members on the professional plan so if you want to get hold of all of them straight away um, it's just ten dollars a month for that. Those All those videos are ad Ad free. They also include these little helper videos just, uh, demonstrating how you can get the code from GitHub, and they include additional bonus footage of going through the code and debugging through the code in the debugger mode as well. Anyway, that concludes this tutorial. Thank you for taking the time for watching this. Bye for now.